Well, today is going to be a less fun video than most of our videos. Jacob is sick. He was up all night with a lot of stomach issues. I will spare you the details. I feel fine, thankfully, so we're hopefully gonna go to a pharmacy and get Jacob some Imodium maybe or Pepto-Bismo and just see what we can find. My stomach's actually been hurting for a couple of days, but last night was definitely the worst. So now I'm just laying here and we were planning to go snorkeling today because we're in a beautiful place of PP, but that's just not gonna happen. So I guess just sit here, drink my water, and we can turn this into a work day. We can work on our YouTube videos while also getting the medicine that I need. We were trying to leave to go to 7-Eleven to try to get some Imodium and electrolytes and maybe like bananas and rice for his stomach, but he's back inside. So I am just getting some work done out on the patio, but I feel really sad for him because I can tell that he's just not feeling so good. But I'm kind of enjoying the view that I have right now. It's just so green. I just love it so much. We made it out of our hotel room. We are walking to 7-Eleven. Hopefully they're going to have some Imodium there. It took a while to feel good enough to go out, but I'm happy that we're walking. <laughs> we already stopped at one market and they did not have any medicine so I'm really hoping that 7-Eleven does. I feel like it would just say Modion on it. Oh, we can't find it. We're not experts in the Thai language but I'm pretty sure that is a good sign to see. It took a little bit of effort to find them but they were just at the front of the store and also <laughs> it's English on the front so I think we're all right. But they weren't by the other medicine, they were like at the front of the store. And got some electrolytes. What do they do? They keep you hydrated so you don't get dehydrated. Oh yeah, I definitely need some of that. Also gonna get some crackers. Jacob just took his first doses of it. We took it right away. Didn't even wait to get out of 7-Eleven. Jacob got some medicine and I got a cappuccino. And we got Jacob some rice to hopefully help his stomach. I'm making him drink all of this water that's, so that he doesn't get dehydrated. That's so much. What is this? It's like two liters almost. One and a half liters. This is the most boring meal I'm ever going to eat. Only rice. Tastes about as good as unflavored rice with nothing else on it. Hopefully it will help your stomach though. I actually enjoy rice, so. Not too bad. Well, unfortunately, Jacob is back in the bathroom, but I'm gonna make him some electrolytes right now so he doesn't get too dehydrated. I was really hoping that the medicine would work, but it might still work. It just isn't working super fast. Got the electrolytes ready for him. I'm gonna leave him out here. I think I'm gonna go to the beach. Hopefully he can rest up, drink the electrolytes, and hopefully he'll feel better in a little bit. I'm out here at the beach. Jacob's still back in the hotel room. So sad, but honestly, it's a really good thing that he's not out here because I am sweating so much and it is not good for him to sweat and get even more dehydrated because that really takes it out of you. So it's good that he's still in the room, but so sad. There is a clinic and a hospital here on this island just in case things get worse. I'm really hoping that we don't have to go to that, but I don't know. And we're supposed to go diving, which also like kind of dehydrates you. So I'm just hoping that tomorrow he feels a lot better. We're sitting out on our balcony just enjoying the view after I went to the beach and Jacob got some rest. We did already have an experience at a Thailand clinic and it was an amazing experience. We needed to get our Japanese encephalitis shot because we're gonna be in Asia for so long. And if we got it back home in the United States, it was going to cost us 1,600 US dollars. And here in Thailand, it cost us about 30. So it saved us so much money. So if we were back in Bangkok, I would not be worried at all about Jacob being sick because I know the clinic. I know that we can go there and he's gonna be taken care of. It is a little bit more stressful when you're on a small island, but I think that he'll be okay even if he does have to go to the clinic because it is right there. 
but I'm really hoping he doesn't have to. It's been a few hours and I definitely don't feel amazing, but I am feeling a little bit better just trying to eat as much as possible, just like pretty bland foods and also some salty foods too, because they have electrolytes. So I've been eating rice, I'm eating peanuts and drinking a lot of water. So I'll just see, hopefully I'm feeling better when I wake up. It's sad that we were unable to go snorkeling today, but at least I got to be in here and working on some YouTube videos. So I guess there's a little bit of good that came out of it. It is midnight and Jacob is really not feeling that much better. So I'm thinking tomorrow we might have to go to the medical clinic. I was really hoping we could avoid that. It is the next day and Jacob is doing better. Better, still not perfect, but it's all right. But I think that he's on the mend. He's still taking lots of medicine, drinking lots of fluids. We're gonna get him some rice, but I think we're gonna try to go snorkeling today. So we will end this video here and hopefully the next video we will be snorkeling and Jacob isn't struggling in the water. <laughs> <laughs>